Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The other day, I talked about a web app that allows you to resize photos on the web without installing any software. And I got a comment on that video when I posted it to my blog at chris.perillo.com. And it, I was told by the user known as Hair Gel Addict, wow, says, I've got a site that's much better in my opinion. It has a new kind of resizing technology behind it. Some geek blogs call it Intelligent Image resizing. Check it out. It's awesome. And that website, uh, you might need to get a pencil for this, R-S-I-Z-R. -R. So it's R-S-I-Z-R. R-S-I-Z-R. -R. And if someone wants to type it in the chat room, it'd be great. Thank you, Taylor Olson. Uh, resizer, this resizer application, uses a new type of algorithm to resize images. Instead of resizing the entire image or, and flattening it possibly or keeping the scale and the making it smaller, uh, the, the entire thing smaller, the entire thing larger, or instead of stretching and making the entire thing uh, one way or the other, uh, it's, it takes parts of the image and you can target parts of the image that say this part of the image is the most important. The other parts I don't care about so much. So if you're taking a panoramic shot of like Mother Nature and let's say there's stuff off over here that you didn't need so much but you wanted to concentrate on what was over here, you could resize the image using an application like this that instead of just rescaling, retargets the image and preserves certain pixels instead of resizing every single pixel in the image, every little point in the image. Uh, it's a new way of resizing photos. And the easiest way to demonstrate it is to either show you or to have you go there. It's free, it's immediate. You go there, you upload a photo, just upload a small one. In fact, what I chose to upload, just here on the screen if you can see it, is this particular photo. This is on Canvas. Um, as you know, my uh, first year anniversary uh, is coming up. Uh, I've now been married to Ponzi one year. And uh, for the first anniversary present, the present, the traditional one is paper. And I know Canvas isn't paper, but it's pretty close. And so what I had done, or what I had made, was I went to the web, and not this website, but I uh, went to the web and uh, had these JPEGs put onto Canvas. And these JPEGs were taken on an old Nokia phone at 640 by 480, and uh, <laughs> so they're really bad quality. But this is from our first date. This is when we first met. And it's us doing shadow puppets on this gigantic wall. This is her and this is me. And I thought it was kind of, I thought it was unique uh, to commemorate a first year anniversary with uh, photos from our first date that uh, have now been preserved in Canvas. So that's the photo I used. Sorry, I wanted to sneak that in there if only to, to let you know. That's a pretty cool gift to get. So there's a little bonus tip for you. If you bonus tip! You know, that's there you go for all you old Call for Help fans. Uh, so now here, back to Resizer. Uh, I can uh, select the, the so places of the image that I want resized, and on the screen you'll see these like red lightning bolts uh, kind of flash through the image. And then as, as it's analyzed it, I can take and stretch or I can uh, shrink. And as I'm doing that, I'm noticing that my little body here in the center isn't resizing at all. It's preserving those pixels in the middle, which is exactly what I would have wanted to have happen. So it was intelligent enough to know that as I'm resizing the image, I don't want to make it 640. Let's say I wanted to make it uh, 400 pixels wide. By resizing it by using R sizer or R S I Z R, I don't know how to pronounce that. It did it in a non-destructive manner. No, it's not cropping. Uh, cropping is taking just parts of the image and eliminating everything else. This way, I'm not cropping the entire image. I'm keeping most everything in the image. It's just I'm eliminating parts that aren't necessarily interesting to me. Now you're saying, well, wait a minute. Well, isn't that the same thing as cropping? No. In the original image, as you can see, or if you can't tell, I've got this little red dot over here and I've got some area over here. And if I cropped it, I could get rid of that red dot, but I'm not cropping it. I'm just resizing it. So I've sh shrunk the width of the image, that red dot's still here, I've got still got space over there. You can't do that and still maintain pixel perfection right there in the middle. So that's probably a, a non-technical way of explaining something very technical and very fun. R-S-I-Z-R dot com. It's the best way to illustrate is have you upload a photo and try it for yourself. I bet you've been wanting this tool and you had no idea. I told you, this is the future of the web. Nothing to install. Just go over here. 
uh, and uh, have fun. Now, if you uh, know of any other cool websites, tips, tricks, whatnot, or got a question about photos or digital photos, I don't know everything, but I can do my best to find the answer or connect you with someone who might know the answer. You're welcome to swing by the community as well. If you haven't just left a comment already, uh, you can meet wonderful people who sometimes interact with me over Skype conversations. Right, Wireless Packet? Definitely yes. See, he's been here all along. He's just been he's he's on my laptop, right? He's just I you're shrank him. Good, you're doing a good job. I resized him. He's actually on, sitting on my laptop. You didn't know that. I can resize people with this application. It's that powerful, and his voice stays intact too. Pretty amazing. All right. Anyway, if you want to participate with any of us, participate. I don't know what you're participating in, other than a general ongoing and flowing conversation about things to do on the web or questions you might have about technology. You're welcome to swing by our chat room anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and uh, we'll see you there. We'll see you later. Sorry, it wasn't working. I mouse. It had a booger on it. I just, it it's working now. My, my fingers are working now.